The following different brains content was funded in part by the Community Foundation of Broward and support from people like you. Hi everyone, welcome to Different Brains. I'm your host, Nick, and you're watching The Weekend Your Diversity. In this episode, we'll be looking at an exciting new method of treating Alzheimer's disease. Surgery, even with the benefits of modern medicine and technology, is risky. Opening the body and exposing it to contaminants always carries risk. But, is there a way to perform surgery without cutting skin? This new experimental Alzheimer's treatment suggests there is. Is this brain surgery without a knife? It is, indeed. The symptoms of Alzheimer's disease are believed to be caused by the buildup of a dense plaque of beta amyloid protein. In people with Alzheimer's, it accumulates much faster. And over time, these protein aggregates, we call them plaques, like plaques in the arteries. They keep on accumulating and impacting function. The FDA has recently approved two different drugs to help clear this plaque, but they work slowly, taking 12 to 18 monthly doses before effects can be noticed. This is because of the blood-brain barrier, a tight filter of cells lining the blood vessels within the brain that regulate what is allowed into the organ. But with this new experimental technique, there may be a better way. After receiving an IV solution filled with microscopic bubbles, patients wear a special helmet that uses ultrasonic sound waves to vibrate the bubbles, opening the barrier. This patient underwent antibody infusion therapy plus ultrasound. The ultrasound opened the blood brain barrier and the antibody went in faster and cleaned out the plaques. I mean, my jaw dropped. I'm like, whoa, I was actually even in the clinic seeing patients and the PET scan technician called and said, Oh yeah, there's a big change. I'm like, how do you know? We have to analyze it. He's like, no, you can see it on the screen. This new technique is the brainchild of Dr. Ali Razai, a neurosurgeon and scientist who has already developed a pacemaker-like device to treat Parkinson's disease. With Dr. Razai demonstrating that ultrasound can help clear plaques faster and slow the progression of Alzheimer's, his next step is to see if it can restore the damaged areas and reverse the effects of the disease. We don't know if it's gonna reverse the damage to the brain because Alzheimer's, the underlying cause is still occurring. So we have another study that we're looking at with ultrasound. First, clear the plaques, then deliver ultrasound in a different dose to see now if we can reverse it or boost the brain more for people with Alzheimer's. That's all for today's episode. What do you think of this new experimental technique? Be sure to let us know on social media and don't forget to follow us. Thanks for watching, and remember, you keep advocating and we'll keep bringing the news.